1870s, the wildest spot in the United States was the desolate region west of the Pecos River. Virtually beyond the reach of the authorities, the railroads, then pushing their way west, attracted the most vicious characters in the country. It was said that all civilization and law stopped at the east bank of the Pecos. It took one man, a lone storekeeper who was sick of the lawlessness, to change all this. His name was Judge Roy Bean. Take me home, take me home to the land of the Pecos. Near that stream, let me dream neath the sky. This old heart keeps on beating, repeating fond echoes of the brave and the bold riding Your ranch just finds you down here. Got a message for you from the railroad. Thanks, Judge. We're just cutting out their beef now. We're going to take them down to the construction camp tomorrow. They told me to get that to you right away. It's important. Well, of all the... All the what? They're not going to get away with this. Get away with what? See you later, Judge. Now, if that wouldn't frost the cake... Anybody here? Yes. Oh, hello, Jeff. What's the idea, Mr. Stevens? Idea? Idea of what? Canceling my beef contract. I raised the best beef in this country. And your construction camp's been getting the pick of the herd. Here, take a look at this. It came through yesterday. Complete shutdown of all construction. That's right. I've already laid off all my men, canceled delivery of materials. So you see, <laughs> we won't have much use for your beef. I don't get it. I thought they were anxious to get this road through. Well, I thought so, too. But until I get further instructions, I guess we'll just all have to sit tight. I'm sorry, Jeff. So am I. I'll be seeing you. that for a dozen sombreros. Oh, Uncle Roy, am I glad you're back. Anything wrong? Well, Mr. and Mrs. Peralta are here, and you'll never guess what they want. All right, girl, if I'll never guess, you'll have to tell me. A divorce. Oh, it, a divorce? Now, where do you suppose they got a fool notion like that? Hello, Warren. Mrs. Peralta? Buenos dias, senor. Buenos dias, senor juez. What's all this nonsense about a divorce? Si, senor juez, that's what we want. Is that what you want, senora? Seguro, definitivo. Si, senor judge. A divorce. Let's see. Now, why don't you wait here? I want to ask your wife some questions. What for? The usual legal procedure in a divorce case. You come with me, Pilar. Hey, Laura, I want you to tell me the truth. You really want this divorce? Oh, no, Judge, no. But Juan does. And I want him to be happy. But you're a good wife. Why should that make him happy? Because she's younger than me and beautiful. She? Dolores. Dolores Ortega. 
the girl Juan wants to marry. After he divorces me. <laughs> You're sure equal the singer at the canteen. He wants to marry Juan? See, si, see. Si. Mm, it's a puzzling case. I'll have to think this over. Oh, Judge, I am so unhappy. Now, don't you worry. You go on home, Pilar, and just leave it up to the old judge. Gracias, senor. Gracias. You want to get a divorce, eh, Juan? Si, senor juez, and don't talk me out of it. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Of course, you understand, Juan, a divorce is pretty expensive. <laughs> I got money. I got $15. $15? Well, that wouldn't even pay for calling court in the session. That wouldn't pay for one bang on that gavel. <laughs> $15. Well, how much a divorce cost? Oh, uh, we might get by for uh, 150 Dollars? I don't mean pesos. <laughs> 150. I don't have that. But when I do, I will come back. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> Any mail for me, honey? No, Uncle Roy, but there's a package. Package? Where's it from? Detroit. Detroit, Michigan? Is there another Detroit? When I come to think of it, what a regular name. <laughs> right Bite Company, makers of no click, no slip, munchers. What in the world are munchers? Oh, I think I know what these are. Those are Ms. McSweeney's New China. In such a little package? And she lives in a railroad shanty. What does she need with new plates? She needs these, all right. Is it? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You mean that's what munchers are? Yeah, now imagine what Ms. McSweeney will do to a walnut with them, huh? Oh, B, ordering teeth by mail. What do I think of next? Yeah, we're living in a great age, honey. But how'd she know they'll fit? Oh, I just had her gum in your corn, sent that back for a model. <laughs> oh, Uncle Roy. <laughs> Just shut down construction. Cancel my contract. Shut down? What for? Superintendent got a telegram. Tell him to stop everything. That's all he knows. Say, that'll leave you available for a couple of days, won't it? What's on your mind, Judge? You know that uh, pretty girl sings over at the cantina, uh, Dolores. Ortega? Slightly. You know any reason why she'd want to marry Juan Peralta? That skinny little weasel, I should say not. No, neither do I. That's why I think there's more to this business than meets the eye. I still know what you're talking about. What about his wife? He wants to divorce his wife so he can marry Dolores. What? Mm -hmm. I wish you'd ride over to the cantina, Jack, and find out what goes on with that girl. It'll be a pleasure, Judge. You just stick to business. Don't you worry about me, Letty. I can take care of myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come over and sit down. Look, mister. What are you trying to do? Just call me Jeff, honey. Honey, ever since I came out this country, I've been wanting to find a girl just like you. Really? I've got a lot to offer a girl. I'm, well, not bad looking. I've got a nice ranch. Not big, but good size. Run 800 head of cattle. My. Yes, sir. And I've got a nice little house to go with a spread. So how about it? How about what? Joining up with me. Sharing it. You mean marry you? <laughs> well, what's so funny? You must be crazy. Besides, I'm marrying someone else. Who? Juan Peralta. <laughs> 
One Peralta. Now I think you're the one that's crazy. A girl like you marrying him? Besides, he's already got a wife. Not for long. Now, if you'll excuse me. Just tell me. Why are you so set on marrying him? There must be some reason. Maybe I love it. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait a minute. This guy bothering you, Dolores? He sure is. Outside, friend. Do I know you? The name's Dan Bartlett. Now, do you get out or you want to be thrown out? I think I'd like to be thrown out. Suit yourself, mister. Lefty, Curly. The gentleman wants to be thrown out. <laughs> Change your mind, wait for me. I'll be back. Bean? That's right. What can I do for you? My name's Pearson. I'm in charge of clearing title to right of way for the SP Railroad. Yeah, I guess the land titles are pretty vague out in this part of the country. You know, we thought we had title pinned down all the way west. Then a snag developed here at Langtree. Did you have anything to do with the shutdown up at the construction camp? Well, until we can determine who really owns the land, the right of way is on and make a deal with them. It'd be pretty foolish to keep building, wouldn't it? <laughs> it sure would. You'd have lawsuits stacked up in court a mile deep. Yes. Now, by the way, how do I get to the railroad camp from here? Oh, come over here now. Please, take that main trail up over the hills, not very far. Good. Well, after I've reported to Stevens, I'd like the three of us to get together. When would you be available? Almost any time. Good, good. Then I'll get word to you. And uh, thank you very much, Judge. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, likewise. For it now. The whole business. The divorce can begin. Now, wait a minute. It's all here, Senor Josh. A hundred and fifty dollars. Juan, where'd you get all that money? You didn't steal it, did you? No, Senor Josh. I won't do a thing like that. She loaned it to me. She? Si, my Dolores. She loved me awful bad, Senor Josh. Yeah, I guess so. All right, Juan, this will pay the court costs. But before we start proceedings, Maybe we'd better talk over the settlement. Settlement? But you didn't expect to live with her for years and then leave her without a cash settlement. To tell you the truth, Senor George. Or maybe you'd prefer alimony. That way you pay her once a month for practically the rest of your life. And if you miss one payment, you go to jail. That is no good, Senor George, the calabozo. How much does settlement cost? Oh, maybe $500. <gasps> and not a penny less. $500? Gee, well, I'll, five. I'll see you, George. Poor man. Almost makes me feel sorry for him. Yeah. You know, I can believe she'd want to marry him. But to pay money to do it... Mm -mm. What? Five hundred dollars? Not so loud. This is getting expensive. We ain't too far to back out now. It's our only chance. It's better work. All right? Five hundred dollars. I... Gracias, señorita. Gracias. Five hundred dollars. You know, this marriage business is beginning to smell phony. Why? Nobody knows what we're doing. How could they? I don't know, but I'm sure going to find out. Jeff tells me you've been having a little trouble. Yeah, I was just telling Mr. Pearson here how much this delay was costing. If we're held up another week, well, why... It shouldn't be hard to get those titles. 
Everybody wants a railroad. Sure they do. But how do you get clear title to land in Texas? Why, it's been snarled up ever since the original Spanish grants. Yeah, none of the Indian treaties to worry about, Republic of Texas records. Say, Mr. Stevens, would you do me a favor? Certainly, Judge. I'd like to send a message over your telegraph. If I'm right, I may save you a few thousand dollars delay. Well, then I'm all for it. You go right ahead. It's that tent right over there. Good. Uh, you mind if I go with you, Judge? If you don't mind, it's personal. Oh, sure. How's it going? It isn't. The judge is stalling Juan about the divorce. Look, Bartlett, if anything goes wrong, if word of this ever gets back to the office, I'm ruined. Not only ruined, but in jail, right alongside me. When I wrote you this plan, you said there would be no problem about carrying out your end of the deal. That's the only reason... There hasn't I... been any real trouble yet, and there won't be if we play it right. What did the judge go in there for? Well, he asked Stevens if he could use the telegraph to send a message. About what? What he would say. You know, I think we'd better find out. Thanks, boy. Well, now, if that wouldn't frost the cake. Come on, hurry it up. I'm paying plenty for it. Right. The case of Peralta versus Peralta. The court costs having been paid and the settlement taken care of. And since the couple have no children... No we... children? What's the matter? You mean to tell me you do have children? Dos hijos y dos hijas, señor judge. Two boys and two girls? I'm sorry I didn't tell you, señor judge. I'm afraid that changes everything. That brings up the whole question of child support. Child support? That costs an awful lot of money. Awful lot of money. You can bang that gable while I still can afford it, Senor George. Of course, you're here. Here's the book, Uncle Roy. Oh, good. Is one for us yet? No, it's sure expensive. Judge, if you will excuse me, I'll... Uh... Will you stick around one? I think this will concern you. Hey, here it is. What is your father's name? My father's full name? Yes, his full name. Jose Gonzalez Guadalupe Andalucía Moreno Pascual Rodriguez Jesus Morales de Peralta. And your grandfather's name? Mm, the, the full name? Yes, his full name. Pedro de Miguelito Concepcion de Benito Michoacán. No. How did he find out? Who knows? Maybe he guessed. This doesn't mean that he knows everything. 
Maybe not, but that marriage gag sure ain't gonna work now. I'm kind of glad. But there's nothing else we can do. Oh, yes, there is. We're gonna do it right now. Curly, come on. And your great-great-grandfather's name. Oh, have a heart, Uncle Roy. His full name. The, f the full name? Jesus de Guadalajara, Domingo, Belmont, Juarez, Cielo, Antanza de Castañeta, Pelota, McGregor. McGregor? See, somewhere there was a McGregor. That explains it. Now, you run along home, Juan. When I work this out, I'll come over, and I may have some good news for you. Bueno, señor juez. Adios, señor juez. Adios. I don't get it. Come for a little divorce. Get over there and sit up. Now do as we tell you, you're a dead hombre. Ay, Dios! Lo van a matar! Lo van a matar! Where are we heading, Judge? Out to Juan's house. We got some good news for him, I hope. You'll never see your wife again. You you mean that that is a divorce? No, it's not a divorce. But you know what will happen to you if you don't sign it. Who's that? It's a judge. Looks like Juan's got company. suppose the idea is? My guess is that Bartlett and the girl got tired of waiting for the divorce. We've got them holed up in there. But how do we get in? Well, they can't be over three of them. Hey, Chad, do you ever see a house without a back door? I get it. Keep me covered, Judge. Fine, miss. You got us into you and your divorce. in the court. The defendants will rise and hear the sentence of this court. We find you guilty on all counts. For attempted alienation of affections and collusion, we will find you $650, which this court now holds. For conspiracy to defraud the railroad, two years in the state penitentiary. Court's adjourned. Lock them up, Jeff. All right, let's go. Move. Come on. What is this all about, Judge? Juan, I got a telegram yesterday. The federal courts have declared all old Spanish land grants valid. Since you're the last surviving descendant of McGregor Peralta, that means you own most of the country around here. I do. Then that's why that girl was so anxious to marry me. Yes, and after you were married, Dolores and Bartlett and Pearson could have held the railroad up for thousands. Of course, they, they'd have had to murder you first. How about that divorce? 
You're rich, you can buy a hundred of them. No, Senor George. If it's all the same to you, I think I stick to Pilar. She is a pretty good wife, and she loves me. Besides, what? I don't think she will kill me. <laughs> Don't be too sure about that. Yeah. Come on, I'm not going to tell you, young man. You don't want to talk to me. <laughs> To stay 